Hey, Francisco, you know, obviously you get the hit at the end there, but three walks, you had a, a hard hit out in the third. Uh, do, you, do you feel like today was something to build upon for you? Um, Steve, yeah, I, um, every day. Every day has been a, a day to build um, from it. Um, but today it's, there, there was a little bit more results than the past couple of days. But um, even yesterday, my last at bat, I got jammed and – I actually felt really, really good um, when I got jammed. Uh, my, my hand didn't appreciate it, but my mind and my body did. Your next question comes from Bruce Beck. Francisco, how have you remained throughout this stretch? Pretty calm and composed and focused on the task at hand and not pointing fingers at anybody and just, you know, talking about yourself. Bruce, um, when you have a great group of guys around you, coaching staff, uh, players, uh, and there has been so many people that have reached out to me um, to help me out. Uh, caring players, former players, coaches, um, presidents, owners, it's just it's a lot. A lot of people have reached out to me um, to help me out, and that to me means the world. I, I can't thank thank them individually here, but to all of them, uh, uh, thank you for reaching out. You know, and the, the the road is not over, man. The road is not over. Um, and he's glad we had a good road trip. It's funny because you've been encouraging to so many others during your time in the big leagues and now you're getting it back. So does it sometimes go in a circle? I, uh, yeah, what goes around comes around for sure. Um, and I'm thankful and blessed. Um, as long as I'm healthy and the team is winning games, I'm a happy man. And this road trip was uh, a successful one. We played very well as a team. Um, so uh, that, that kept me calm. Thank you. The next question comes from Tim Healy. Hey, Francisco. I know the, the one hit doesn't even out numbers, but is it a sigh of relief when that grounder gets through in the ninth inning? Um, Tim, <laughs> as soon as I hit the ball, I was just hoping that nobody caught it. Uh, when it went through, yeah, I mean, of course, the, the smile on my face and a little bit of uh, my shoulders come down from – I had them above my ears. Um, they calmed down a little bit, but like I said earlier, um, Tim, it's still a long road. Um, I'm still working. Uh, I'm working as hard as I can day in and day out to be the best player I can be. Um, and if, if I can do something in a daily basis to help the team win, um, that to me, it's, it's, it's it, you know? I, I don't need Results. I want results, but I don't. I don't. I don't need them to uh, to feel good. As long as we're winning, that makes me happy. Thank you. Your next question comes from Justin Toscano. Hey, Francisco. I think a lot of people maybe on the outside speculate that as you you kind of go through a slump like this, that maybe the contract and being in New York starts to weigh on you. Is that actually something that that makes you feel a little more pressured in a thing like this? Or are you able to put that out of mind? Um, Justin, um, I went over 35 when I was with Cleveland and it was the same amount of pressure um, that my old for whatever I was, 30, 33, I don't know how. 20, I don't know. It was just a lot. Um, but um, it's the same amount of pressure, man. I'm trying to help the team win day in and day out. I want to win. I want to do whatever it takes to help um, the team win. And I, throughout this streak, I've left a lot of people on base. You know, I'm probably, I'm probably hitting point twenty with people on base right now. Um, and that, that it's, it's not, it's not good. You know, it's not good. I'm, I wasn't getting a base to help the team win. And then the, uh, the the stretch in Cleveland, the slump there that you mentioned, what do you remember from how you broke out of that and how might you be able to apply a couple of those things now? As you saw today, I was just trying to get my front foot down as early as I could. And actually, I went up to the box today trying to hit like Michael Brantley. <laughs> I was like, just, just, just watch Michael Brantley try to hit like him. And 
and see what happened. Um, today worked out. Uncle 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 Brent um, stands worked out today. We'll see who I got tomorrow. <laughs> Your next question comes from Mike Vaccaro. Francisco, you're the only guy on this call who knows the highs and the lows of playing Major League Baseball. So you're really the only person who can, who can accurately tell us what it's like to be in a slump like that. What is it like? <laughs> Mike, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun, man. It's... It's um, it, whenever you're not helping the team um, and you are winning driven, you know, you, it, it, it's just you go home and you start wondering, like, all right, man, I got to do something to help the team win. And to me, the, the tip of the iceberg was that ground ball I ran out of hit to me. I made the error and then home run right after. That to me, that's when I was like, oh, damn, this is not good at all. Um, because I take a lot of pride in my defense, helping my pitchers, day in and day out, and I let I let um, Stroman down. Your final question comes from Mike Puma. Hey, Francisco. Uh, you know, it looked like Carrasco was close to coming back here, and now he's pushed back at least a few more weeks. I'm just wondering if you've had any contact with him and kind of how he's feeling emotionally right now. Mike, um, last time I talked to Carrasco was probably about a week and a half, a week ago, and he was very optimistic. He was getting looking to apartments. He was talking to um, you know people that um, – that are taking me to the field on a daily basis um, to get himself um, situated when he came to New York. Um, he's a competitor. He wants to win, and he, nobody wants to be hurt. You know, he's. I'm sure he's working very, very hard. That's probably why he's get setbacks because he's working extremely hard. He pushes himself. He probably rushed a little bit and had another setback. Uh, he just can't wait to have him in the team and be part of um, the great staff that we have. And um, I want to, I want to, I want the people to see how good Carrasco is. And how do you feel about this rotation right now? Uh, seeing what you have with DeGrom and Stroman and Walker right down the line. All right. <laughs> no, they're really good, man. They're, they're fun to watch. Um, they, they throw strikes, they attack. They all, they all pitch a little different. Um, but it seems like they 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 all have a great approach to the game. They prepare very well, and those guys don't <laughs> they don't want to come out of the game. And I think they're trying to throw two hundred pitches every time <laughs> they try to take them out of the game. They're, they're not happy with that, and I love that. You know, I love that they want to compete and they want to stay there till the game is over. And I appreciate that as a position player. Thank you, Mike. Thank you.